Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts you learn in science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding median Google search frequency using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Google interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, Google's marketing team is making a Super Bowl uh, commercial and needs a simple statistic to put on their TV ad. The median number of searches a person made last year. However, at Google scale, querying the 2 trillion searches is too costly. Luckily, we, we have access to the summary table which tells you the number of searches made last year and how many Google users fall into that bucket. Write a query to report the median of searches made by a user. Round the median to one decimal point. So basically, there is a table called search frequency with two different columns, number of searches and number of users who fall into that bucket. Right. So once we have this, then how do we find medium? What is the very basic concept of finding a median? So like here it says, OK, uh, number of users who had one search is two. Right. So basically, uh, you know, you need to arrange this in ascending order. Right. So basically you should be OK, one comma one, then uh, two uh, number of searches to two users. Right. So you have two two. Right. So basically you arrange all the numbers that is given to you in ascending order and try to find out the middle one. Right. So then three is thrice, right? So three, 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 and then four is once. So now if you count, there are three, six, eight. So in total eight, which is an even number. So you take the fourth and fifth one, right? And you mean, mean that out. So two plus three divided by two. So five divided by two, that is 2.5. That is the median that you have, right? And if it is uh, going to be odd, then you take the or like the middle one, right? So basically that is what we need to do in this case. So how do we do this? So basically before, you know, jumping into this uh, question, we need to, you know, be aware of a function called generate series, right? So generate series is a function where you can give, okay, start generating a series from a particular number up till a certain number. And what is the step that you need to take, right? So let me, you know, write, write it. So from generate series right so from and this is just i'm showing you right so generate series uh start from one go till five and in a step of one right so let me run this let's see what we are having so if you see you have numbers one two three four five right so you have this now to do this do to solve this question what we can do is we can basically try to you know generate the number of series up start from one and for each of these rows you know go to the number of users so what will that do in our case number of searches one and number of users two what if we can add uh you know the number of searches the number of times there are users right so what i basically mean is if we can have you know rows like okay one is uh number of searches one and number of users two so if we can have one one and then one comma two so right so basically number of searches one you have twice right so you have twice then two is again twice so you can have two comma one two comma two right then three is thrice right so three comma one three comma two and three comma three right and similarly four is one so four comma one so if we have this like if we can you know uh break out this entire table into these this you know this way then basically if you look at it right so you can arrange these searches in ascending order and then try to find out the median and this is what this generate series is going to help us with so basically what we can do is from this table called right so from this table called search frequency right search frequency let's keep all the columns and gen or basically both the columns and then use the generate series so generate series right start from one go till number of users right and the number of steps that you need to take is one right uh, let me alias this as like whatever abc okay uh so you know let me remove this let me run this let's see if we have what we are trying to get Okay, so now you see, right? So one, one, so one was two twice, right? So one, 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 two. Four was once, so four, one, right? And then two was twice, so two, one, two, 
two similarly for three so now you have all that right so now once you have that then basically what we need to do is we can just take the values in the searches column arrange in ascending order and try to find out the median right because now we have expanded this table into how many times uh, a particular searches are being made by different users right so once we have that then what we can do is let's store this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing can go into parentheses right and then from this table called cte we are you know need we need to uh, return or we, uh, only the median part and how do we calculate median so there are two different functions you can use basically what is median right what is the basic definition of median mathematically the 15th percentile of the data that is given to you right so 50th percentile is going to be the median part of any given data so we can use percentile discontinuous and per percentile continuous however percentile discontinuous right will return values from the input set closest to the percentile you request and percentile continuous will return an interpolated value between the multiple values based on the distribution it is more accurate and can return fractional values between the two values from the input. So we just saw that right in this case, there are in total eight values. So if you use percentile disk, then it is not going to return you 2.5. It is going to take the values, either the fourth value or the fifth value, right? But that is not going to be correct in our case, right? Because the, actually the median, whenever uh, there are even number of numbers, it should be take the middle one, take the next one and you average them out, right? So that is why percentile continuous is a better option in our case. So percentile continuous and uh, what is the median 50th percentile, right? So 0 0.5 and then we need to write within group, right? So within group and then you need to order by the searches right order by searches in increasing manner and then let's change that into decimal system so decimal system and then we also need to round it to one decimal point right so this entire thing right so round this entire thing to one decimal point and alias this as median right so as median okay this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so the median comes out to be 3.5 let me go ahead and submit it to so if it passes all the test cases okay so this is accepted and this is how to do it again it the solution looks very small but and this is a hard question because you need to know about generate series you also need to know about how we can calculate median because there is a way to calculate average a function called average or avg in sql to directly calculate averages or mean but there is no function to calculate median directly and therefore we need to use these percentile continuous or percentile discontinuous to calculate that mean and this is how we do it right okay so what we did was basically for each of the uh, you know number of searches we generated the, the rows equal to the number of users right using the generate series and then what we did was we arranged them in ascending orders so order by searches in ascending order and then found the 50th percentile which is basically the definition of median and then rounded it to one decimal places okay so let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video